<clears throat> okay. I'm gonna have to, yeah, I'm gonna turn this around. I'll do it like this. All right, so this is a uh, tabloids and trans tablets with tea. This is going to be a quickie, mostly because uh, I'm at work and whatnot. I had to come in and take care of stuff. I almost forgot to do this, so I'm gonna try to go ahead and uh, get this out as quickly as I can, but try to talk about everything. So hopefully I don't get distracted. I had to find an isolated place to do this to where can't nobody really recognize where I'm at and shit. So what's up? Okay. So let's go ahead and talk about Empire. <clears throat> so I'm happy to know that Empire, you know, sped up a little bit, you know. It it kind of sucks that um they how can I say it's almost like they were trying to speed up through so many different uh storylines and whatnot trying to kill off people all this other stuff you know just to get to where we are right now what's up what's up so <clears throat> it's like with empire it's like all right because i watched everything and i didn't do a review i might still do a review i don't know but you know i don't know <laughs> what's up it seems like just i don't know empire had me feeling some kind of way because i just watched it last night like it's been a crazy week just saying but i just watched it last night I want to ask y'all real quick, how y'all feeling about Hakeem? You feel me? Because um, I don't know how the, how the fuck to feel about this boy. Because it's just like, to an extent, I somewhat understand why he did what he did. But if you think about it, both he and his father have, you know, pretty much taken blow for blow with each other. And it seemed like this was the final, you know what I'm saying? Gotcha, bitch. And I don't know. Yeah, I get the feeling that. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> well, I said, don't, don't get in trouble with the Lord. Try to watch me now. Don't do that. Um, but, you know, it's just like they were going blow for blow. My thing is, like, was it really, really worth it for y'all to do this shit? You know what I'm saying? And I don't know. I think Cookie had a lapse of judgment because I would have given my share to Andre. Go with, because here's the thing, I mean, we have the emotionally unstable and then the mentally unstable. I would probably go with the mentally unstable. And here's the thing, you know we haven't had a uh, good cat fight <laughs> this season just yet. So I get the feeling that either Cookie is going to put hands on, they did, they did underestimate him and his damn emotions. But uh, I think that Cookie's either going to lay hands on, who who did I think get? Is he, oh, okay, is he going to be Mimi or it's going to be Camilla? I don't know which one, but I know Cookie going to put her hands on one of them too. And I'll be all the way the fuck here for it. So this shit definitely needs to pick smooth the fuck up, you know, because they can't be sitting here playing. And I'm just trying to figure out this. Was it really that serious for Thirsty to sit here and eat old girl out in the motherfucking elevator? Like, you couldn't... <sighs> that was too much. <clears throat> that was too much. I <laughs> And then you got fucking Lucia talking about some you done fixed them. I was just like, what? And before I go ahead and start talking about, you know, the other three things, because I got some shit to, to say. Who y'all think pushed... Uh, Rhonda, because I think that it's either Boo Boo Kitty, even though she is the likely suspect, but I think it might have been Camilla too. And the only reason I say Camilla is because if she truly is trying to get back with uh, Hakeem, which I'm kind of hearing about, she would take out anybody that is even close to trying to take what's hers. But do y'all think it might have been somebody else? Cause those are the only two, and actually, then it would be like, how the fuck does Camilla know where the fuck she's staying? I don't know. Eh. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk about the household. So, oh, hold on. <laughs> What's up, thick chick blah? You know what she? Hey, I mean, you can watch her. You know, I don't know, like what, whatever. You know, works best for you. Uh. <laughs> But here's the thing, y'all know I do this every damn Sunday, so that's all I'm going to say. Uh, so let's talk about these households right quick. So with the real households of Atlanta, I want to talk about one, one person. Actually, before I talk about what I want to talk about, 
Y'all know I normally don't address certain shit because I'm going to do my videos. Y'all know we can agree or disagree when I put myself on YouTube. What I will say is this. My opinions are just that. That's how I see them. You know, my opinions are just that. You feel what I'm saying? I'm going to talk about what I'm going to talk about. You know, and regardless of who team I'm ever on, like when it's Love Hip Hop Hollywood, y'all know I'm team on these. That, ain't, that shit ain't fit to change. But if you wrong, I'm going to say you wrong. Feel what I'm saying? With the whole Portia and uh, Cynthia thing, I'm not going to deny the fact Cynthia was hurting the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, your emotions are going to be heightened when you drunk. My thing is, if a motherfucker is drunk and they ain't any motherfucker feelings, I'm going to leave them the fuck alone. One. Two. Why the fuck was that Shamia girl? Why the fuck was she over there with fucking Cynthia? See, she was in hustle trying to get some motherfucking tea. But see, I was going to, I'm going to talk about that later on tonight. And then when you go over there to try to talk to her, instead of pulling her to the side or asking Shamia and Kim nicely, and y'all uh, kind of give us some room. And then instead of sitting next to her, you're going to sit on the thing. And then you stand up. See, when you stand up, you're trying to assume a dominant stance. Okay. And then she got a motherfucking Chuck Norris kit in her motherfucking, you know, damn stomach. Now, here's the thing. For both individuals, both of them were respectively wrong, and I can see how both of them are respectively right. But my thing is this, you come into my motherfucking personal space and shit, you getting ready to turn the fuck up, hey, it is the fuck it is. That's all I'm going to say. But y'all wait till later on night, because y'all know I got some shit to say later on night. Thank, thank you. Thank you for sharing that on, on Twitter. But since I already brought up Horsha, she got into another fight, y'all. Into another fight. <clears throat> now, from what I'm hearing, the cameras might have been rolling, but they might not have gotten the footage. But apparently, she was at an event. It might have been her event. And one of her uh, event, what was it? Uh, yeah, Horsha. Uh, I think, like, managers, like, what, uh, one of her close business partners for her naked company brought a gentleman in. Apparently, she wasn't feeling the person that old girl brought in. And then she commenced to beating that ass. So, I don't know. But it's just like, you can't sit here and stay out of fucking trouble. So, first, you're going to grab somebody here. Then, you go going to sit here and stand over somebody with your hand up in that person's face. And now, you're sitting here, you know, beating up your fucking business partner. If they got that shit on camera, she might as well kiss that motherfucking piece of goodbye. And we all know that Apollo, I think he got, what, like two years knocked off his sentence. Good behavior. Good behavior. So, kudos to him. Is that all I got to talk about about these assholes? I think that's it. Let's go ahead and talk. Okay, now, I love hip-hop. Now, I talked about the Super Trailer, and I was going to wait till now to talk about some shit. So, first and foremost, let me go ahead and talk about Yandem and DC's. Okay. First and foremost, I'm about 75% on the verge of not even fucking reviewing the show for two reasons. First one is Yandy and Mendeecees. I'm probably not even going to, like, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to review it. Chances are when I get to their motherfucking scenes, y'all probably not going to get shit on it. You feel what I'm saying? Why? Because I feel like it's the same exact shit with, you know, Fake and Apollo. You knew what the fuck his ass was doing before you got with his ass. You knew this shit before you brought him on the motherfucking show. I'm not finna fucking feel sorry for either one of y'all motherfucking ass. It's the children that I'm gonna feel sorry for. And I truly can't feel sorry for Yanny because you done laid down and fucking popped out a baby by this motherfucker knowing damn well his ass was gonna go to prison. Wasn't no if, wasn't no ands, wasn't no buts. You knew this. And you still decided to spread your motherfucking leg and let him nut in you to pop out a motherfucking baby. You feel what I'm saying? Now, here's the, I'm going to give her kudos for doing what she did. Because she married the motherfucker, so she go ahead and, you know, still get her some dick on the side. Why the fuck he locked up and he's on good fucking behavior? Got it. But I'm not going to feel sorry for you. Oh, shit, too, babies. That shows you how much I sit here and I, I, I'm checking for her because I'm not. So two fucking babies. Like, I'm not even going to get emotionally invested. Y'all better be lucky if I even watch the motherfucking scene to even attempt to give y'all shit to talk about. But I'm not finna fucking do it. Like I said, my thoughts are for the children. My prayers are for the children. And I'm gonna say this. I can respect the fact that when DC's a man of say, you know what? I made a mistake. It is the fuck it is. I'm gonna try to fuck on. That's all I'm gonna say. But when it comes to them, I'm probably not finna talk about their shit. I'm not. Unless they truly give me some shit. Now... 
Y'all know how fed up I got with that motherfucking love triangle. Now, y'all know. What's up? Y'all know I think that Tara is fucking beautiful. She is fucking gorgeous. She is smart but dumb than a motherfucker. Now, there were pictures flo floating around this past summer stating that she was prego. Sources are revealing she is pregnant. And I think we all know the fuck by who. Now, it's nice to know that Amina is, you know, getting her motherfucking backbone. You know what I'm saying? I guess she got hers off layaway from the same place that Cynthia Bailey had hers. But it's nice to know that she haven't. I even think that either she gonna slap Tara or Peter. I forgot. I, I ain't rewatched the trailer. But but it's just like, we back with this same bullshit. We back with this same. So now I gotta sit here and endure these three simpleton motherfuckers for another season. I'm glad Ryan Stone ass ain't on there. I'm glad she, hopefully she's with her motherfucking job. Why everybody want to sit here and clown Moniz? At least Moniz not sitting here calling her damn child a motherfucking dog. Okay. Okay, at least she not flying to another motherfucking state halfway across the motherfucking world to sit here and slide on some motherfucking dick. At least she ain't doing that. Y'all know I'm team Moniz, so don't, don't even come for me. That's some shit I can't do. And I, I'm, like, Love of Hip Hop, Hollywood, not Hollywood, New York seemed like this shit about to be draining. It's about to take, huh, I can't, I can't. Was there anybody else from this bullshit I want to talk about? Now, just Love of Hip Hop talk in general. I'm not reviewing the show, but y'all know that like the last two, was it, was it two or three? The last two to three seasons of uh, Marriage Boot Camp Reality Stars I've reviewed. Y'all know Benzino and Althea are on this. I ain't watching it. I am reviewing it. Cause I don't give a fuck about them, their relationships, you know, honey boo boo. I don't care about none of their asses, so I ain't watching it. And the last thing I want to talk about, cause I told y'all this shit was gonna be quick, cause I'm at work. I do apologize, hope. And if I'm not mistaken, this shit gonna happen again next week, unfortunately. So, like I said, what I might do is, and let me say this now, you will probably get this video Saturday at one o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That way, I can truly give y'all what I normally give y'all. But can we talk about the Wiz? <clears throat> can we ease on down the road and talk about the Wiz? So before I talk about it, how many of y'all watched it? Because I find it be so funny that so many people had some fucked up shit to say. Where it's just like, oh my God, a black ass, a black ass, a black ass. And it's just like, some of y'all fail to realize that, number one, the original The Wiz was an adaptation of The Wizard of Oz, which you watched it. <laughs> And the Wizard of Oz, for what it's worth, was an all-black cast. I mean, all-white cast, where the Wiz was an all-black cast. And if people really paid attention, it was good. It was good. You know, I mean, I'm not going to say it was great, but it was good. You know, for what it was worth, you know, I wish they would have had more seasoned singers and actresses. I mean, singers and actors slash actresses in it. But it wasn't bad. I mean, it was really good. But even when you talk about this Wiz and you're talking about some why is it all black ass? See, what people didn't do is when they got to the motherfucking, uh, you know, Emerald City, I saw white people. I saw people other motherfucking races in the motherfucking Emerald City. I mean, they was voguing like, I mean, they gave, they, I was just like, well, hot damn. And then, you know, had them. <laughs> let, let me, let me stop. I was, I was going to a dirty place, you know, with the girls and the roses and everything. I'm sorry. But it's like y'all want to sit here and try to make something out of nothing. You want to make something out of nothing. You know what I'm saying? And how many, you know, shows in general and places where not I understand, you know, are all white cast. And, you know, it's like we can't have something. I'm trying to figure out, like, are y'all mad because they was singing for, the, for their life? Are y'all mad because, you know, they had runs? Are you mad because of how many people actually came out to support? And the funny thing is, I can't get too mad because for all those motherfuckers that was hating, what y'all did is y'all still gave a fucking view. Y'all still gave them that fucking view. So I can't be too mad, but it's just like, it's so much shit being said, even with the whole Star Wars and, um, you know, there being the Black Stormtrooper and all this other shit, where it's just like, y'all doing too much. And for what reason? You know, even with that, you know, dare I say, you want to get mad because we got a black stormtrooper, but for every depiction of shit that happens in Egypt and all this other stuff, not the right motherfucking skin color, but we not finna fucking go there. So, 
<laughs> Miss, it really wasn't much. Like I said, I'm almost done anyway. Cause like I said, I I really gotta get back to work. When I say this was a quickie, this was a quickie. Not a whole lot really happened that I really want to talk about. And it seemed like <sighs> reality TV tends to get the most shine on here. So that's really all I have to talk about. Truly, y'all know it's don't stop December. So I will have this video up on YouTube later on tonight. Um, I believe uh, on Bravo the show Workout airs tonight. I'll try to watch and review that, but Real Housewives, I'm letting y'all know right now. I'm gonna be one of the first few ones with that damn video because I've been getting, I'm back on my YouTube grind, okay? I'm coming back. Y'all wanna watch this video when I do it. What I will say is don't eat shit, don't drink shit when you watch this video. You have been warned. <laughs> you have been warned. But that's all that I have, and because it's gonna be on YouTube, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank y'all for joining me. I'll see you guys Saturday. Saturday. All right, y'all.